Jason, AyrtonMagic.r. Yes, indeed. This tiny yet powerful fixture. Ayrton apparently spent two years getting the optics for this right, the single collimator to get their beam very, very narrow and very, very powerful. So what they've got here, they've got a 60 watt uh, multi-chip LED light source, which they've then focused into a 4.5 degree beam angle um, with an eight millimeter squared uh, projection area uh, that kicks out 1800 lumens. So a very, very tight beam. And that's the one thing this does, and it does it very, very well. There's also continuous pan and tilt so the whole design object of the, this quite compact fixture is to get as many as possible into a small pace, space and then do some quite amazing uh, beam effects. It'll so go around twice on the pen and the tool yeah, yeah. before it runs out mm. and has to go the other way. But um, that's a lot of versatility mm. in the programming. Yes, indeed. Uh, either 14 or 16 DMX channels are all pretty standard stuff. Now. What you do with it is stuff like this. So this video is from uh, Ayrton's website itself. This is 144 of these units, giving you some idea of the kind of looks you can get with a, uh, a mass of Magic Dot R's together. Uh, and I think that's the thing, they're not really meant to be used uh, in isolation. So yeah, I mean, the, I think a lot of the, the cleverness of the engineering in this has gone into the heat management. Mm. So that enables it to be quite, so I mean, this thing is basically completely silent and, you know, amazingly well controlled. It feels very, very nice. Um, but what they've done with heat management is there's actually liquid phase change going on at a heat pipe. And I think that a lot of that has gone into making this quite small, especially mm. you know, with all the motor control you've got. I like going how on. you can pack them together on a truss and they won't interfere with each other. Yeah, um, definitely. Industrial design is very good. Yeah, it's it, it really does feel like very, very top quality stuff. Mm. And, the, and the movement, uh, getting it panning and tilting around is, is almost completely silent. Um, obviously, you've got all the flicker management, so you can use it for TV and video applications. Um, yeah, I think uh, if you're lucky enough to get your hands on quite a few of these, you're going to be able to make some looks that you really just can't achieve with anything else. And mm. I think that's what they've gone for there. Go the French. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you uh, liked us, please hit like below, subscribe and share us with your friends.